so now it also stands on the shoreline of the dark sea and we see we start with crash this lightning and we go back and we see this figure who's Elsa um, looking out over the sea there are these roaring turbulent waves she gives a little look she's going to do a little like hmm, I got this sort of nod and she forms this little ice ramp that she slides down and she runs again on the waves. This time she's getting close to making it, but a huge wave is forming. And she shoots with her ice, forming this giant like iceberg type thing that she was gonna run up, but it doesn't work and it comes crashing down onto her. And she plunges down into the, into the ocean and the camera goes now underwater as we see the roller goes by. And in between here, she'll start swimming and it's really, really dark and the lightning will flash and that'll light up Elsa, and then at the very end, as she's swimming, we see a lightning flash, which reveals the Dark Horse family. Mm. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Very dramatic. Elsa, uh, at her back, and she's, she's facing these, these huge, tumultuous waves, and the lightning's flashing off in the distance, and we just see something, but we don't know exactly what it is. It's a hard cut to Elsa, and she's standing there now. She's trenched. She's right back where she started, and she takes off again. And she's running, 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 and we see the waves. She runs past camera and leaps over the first set of waves as they crash down. That they actually show the shift. The Wouldn't that be nice? That would be really fun. Actually, fade on and fade yep. off, fade on, fade yep. off, fade on, fade off. Yeah. yeah. Taking down some of this makes it feel like it's yeah, a I little like, bit more tapered. I like how you have this kind of uh, peak and then angle towards the crown of her skull. I think that's a really nice shape. Um, <clears throat> and I also, I also really like this kind of hero piece that you're accentuating, um, which I think was kind of getting lost. Yeah. Um, okay, so, cool. Yeah, oh, it looks awesome.
on love, they're bluer or more cyan, I think, on the first, mm. the first Frozen. Because what happens is you got these lights illuminating the environment, but then, like, if we just had the buds, there would be, if we don't add these extra lights, it would look like nothing's illuminating. On the, on the inside. Exactly, the yeah. But, but you can get to this level. Yeah, we can change, Correct. we can shift the color, absolutely. Yeah. I think, and I, I think it's actually more beautiful than we feared. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, in the way it, even when it's moving, it, it frames them. Yeah. I just wonder if we have to go. So where we are during the hug, I'm just do you want to maybe like ramp up to that? Well, that's one reason yeah. I wanted to show you this. And as much as this is kind of nice, we have to watch this stuff too. Okay. All this stray stuff. I no strays. No. By the time we get here, so. this is a, a, a straight. Yeah. Okay. At the end, as he's covered, it would go to white, not full on white, but get white in Whiter. hue. Yeah. So then, it, when you hear her little, ah, it has a slightly mm -hmm. more angelic mm -hmm. feel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Keep against us all. Pretty quick. Mm -hmm. And then we dissolved him. Perfect. So that's the part of getting it cry out. from the dust to a place that's a little more angelic. Hey there, here's today's Daily Fact. Okay, all of you Frozen fans out there, did you know that the characters' names in the movie pay homage to Han Christian Andersen? So are you ready for this? Hans Christoph Anna Sven. Hans Christian Andersen said really quickly. Now Hans Christian Andersen was the creator of The Snow Queen, the story on which Frozen was based. Now remember, click here below to subscribe or on the site for more great content.